Hello and welcome to my friends at the ICSC class 10 stage, especially the 2020 batch, the batch that has had to really face a lot, especially the legal proceedings in both Bombay High Court and the Supreme Court. Now, this video is not about how your answer scripts will be checked, the marking methodology, the assessment formula, call it what you may, all that we will know in any case in due course of time. Let's talk about something different today and this video is about the question papers for your optional improvement examinations which may take place whenever the situation is conducive that is for students who would not be satisfied or may not be satisfied with the marks they get whenever the results are announced on or around the 15th of July and they can opt to take the examinations for the pending papers. Now on the 30th of June the Council of the Indian School Certificate Examination sent a circular to all heads of ICSC affiliated schools where it sought to clarify point number 3 in the circular dated 26th of June saying that the option of taking the examination will be given only to those candidates who are not satisfied with their final results and would like to improve their marks in particular subjects not all the subjects but in particular subjects for which the examination was not conducted and whatever marks and listen to this carefully just like the CBSE the ICSE also also said whatever marks the students gets in get in the optional exams that will be deemed to be final okay now please remember you cannot opt to take the maths or the history or the physics paper because those papers were conducted in the pre uh, suspension of the exam days in February March you can only appear for papers like geography, biology, Hindi, physical education, etc, etc. So I hope I am clear on that. The council also mentioning in the letter, in the circular, that it is committed to conducting these examinations within a period of one to two months from the date of declaration of the final results. Subject, of course, to the containment of the COVID pandemic, which of course led to the cancellation of the July examinations in the first place and also the overall prevailing conditions. Depending on the circumstances, the schedule for those examinations will be declared at a later date. Now, will the question papers for these optional exams be set afresh by the council? And the answer is no. And the council saying it in so many words. The council, in fact, has asked all the schools to retain the question papers that were sent to them in February 2020 safely and are kept safely in their bank lockers. Now, what happens is that every school gets its, set, gets its set of question papers 10 to 12 days before the commencement of the examination. So, every school would have got the question papers around the 12th or the 14th of February because the examination started on Feb 27 for ICC class 10. Uh, now, these question papers are going to be utilized later in the examinations if and when they are conducted okay i hope i have made myself clear now for many of you who may be wondering if those question papers will indeed be safe i mean it's been many months what's the guarantee that those question papers may not be leaked in select schools some schools uh, which may be a little unscrupulous what is really the system in place to ensure that none of those question papers are leaked Okay, now what is really the system which has been put in place and uh, the director of an ICSC school explained this to me in great detail. Now the question papers are kept inside a sealed cover okay and then they are kept inside the bank locker of the school okay. It has three sets of keys. One set of key is with the supervising examiner who is appointed by the council. He is not an employee of the school. The second set of key is with the principal of the school and the third set of keys is with the bank official. Okay, so three sets of keys with the three different people. Now, if the principal, assuming that the principal, even if he or she wants to open the bank locker and misuse those question papers, he or she cannot do so unless she has the written authorization of the supervising examiner. Okay. And only when all the three keys are used, the locker can also be opened. Okay, so there is a double safety there. 
even otherwise the third safety aspect is even otherwise the key of the principal is kept under a seal and the supervisory examiner's permission is needed in case the principal wishes to use the key okay so the chain of command the chain of command is rather clear with respect to the question papers that the supervisory examiner really calls the shots so for all those students wondering if the question papers will be set afresh whenever if and when these optional exams are held when the situation is conducive you got your answer they don't there will be the same papers which you may have actually answered in the month of march 2020 or if the july exams had not been cancelled you would have actually answered them in july 2020 so that is a situation i thought i'll just bring to you this particular circular to make it very clear why the icsc is asking for all the question papers to be retained in safe custody of the schools thank you very much for watching